What it is, it's an actual dry dock. It's not a lift. So as you see this boat here, it is floating on the water, but it's completely dry. So the days of having to lift the boat up and out of the water are gone. So we have no weight limit. Because we never, we don't remove the boat from the water, we remove the water away from the boat. So as you see, you get the frame. And if you see right here, you get a hinge. That hinge, that back gate drops down. And all we're doing is releasing the air out of that back gate. So there's no hydraulics, there's no motors, there's no cables. So even with a power outage, if I get if I lose the remote control, I can always just pull the airline out of the box. So this will never repeat a customer from boating. It's low profile, so we're not ruining views. We've had great luck with marinas, condo associations, places that don't allow a boat lift because we put no stress on the infrastructure. Um, where we've really found our sweet spot is 25 to 53 foot center consoles now. Anything with outboard, we can, we can do. So people always say, is it dry? So we won the Innovation Award at Miami Boat Show last year for it. So we really just started getting out in the world. But as it sits here, the boat's still floating. So when people say, is it dry? This is my big demo. So that boat, as it sits in there, is completely dry. So when it's time to come back to the day, all we're doing is we're pushing the button, back gate comes up, and then we pump the water out of the unit. The pumps are automatic, so any rainwater that comes in, it's automatic discharges. So once you turn those pumps on, you walk away. So it takes you five minutes to get in, five minutes to get out. It's also a great docking tool for a lot of our new clients. It's like you're pulling into a big catcher's mitt. Um, also from a resale standpoint, because you can take it with you. So unlike the traditional lift at your house, it's like landscaping. Once you put it in, you're done. So with this, you can take it with you, it can break down. I also don't care what kind of boat somebody puts in it. So somebody, if they have a 35 by 10, which is what this is, you can put a 23 foot boat in there. You can put a 32 foot boat in there. We could put a 25 foot pod too. We could put an 18 foot jet boat in there. We could put a 16 foot flat boat. It doesn't matter what goes in here as long as it fits in the square. So it's sort of universal for what it is. So we've just really, you know, getting them out there. The dealers are starting to pick up on it. We've, uh, I think we just installed unit number 50 so far for the year. Um, it's sort of been like selling the unicorn because people go, does that really exist? Does it really work? And uh, Scout's been a great partner for us. So they've really, uh, Dave Wallace, the, the VP, who's right there. Um, he put his boat in one up in Charleston. And his quote to me was, Greg, this is the easiest and best thing I've ever used to store a boat. So we've really, I feel, have solved the two biggest issues of boating. Yeah. Storage and docking. No more bottom paint, no more hollows.